Brunswick University women's basketball with head coach Maureen Smith. As a coach, you clinched a PSAC East playoff spot last night, your 67 39 win over Mansfield. Uh, just looking at the box score, Andrea with 13 points, Faye with 10. But really, the biggest thing that sticks out is the rebounding 49 22 for a plus 27 advantage. Yeah, we, we, we knew that was an area we had to take care of. Um, in the last few games, especially like the Cheney game, we gave up 27 offensive boards and 27 defensive boards. And um, yeah, they're still running for those mm -hmm. in practice. So I, I think we gave them an extra motivation to make sure. And uh, trust me, they came back and asked me in practice too, like, hey, you know, can we take off a couple of the, the down and backs? So uh, as long as they keep proving that effort every day, uh, yeah, I'm a little more forgiving. But yeah, uh, I'm glad they started to make their mark in, in the rebounding department. It's only going to help us to prepare for these acts. Um, last night, you were the team with the 27 offensive rebounds, led to 22 second chance points, and really the difference in the game. Uh, Faye had eight rebounds, Jess was seven, uh, Michelle Boggs with eight, and those three kind of inside as a tandem yeah. or a, a triplet have really mm -hmm. done well for you the last night. Yeah, they've, they've been real solid on, on the boards and the inside and, and just securing the rebounds. You know, I felt throughout the year uh, we, we've had a lot of rebounds that just kind of fumbled off or kind of been the team dead balls. Um, and now we're starting to actually secure them and finish and convert. I know even with Haley Cintron, you know, coming in off the bench, her four points were definitely offensive board putbacks. Mm -hmm. So we're starting to realize that we can get some quick points in those opportunities, and uh, it really does help us uh, to score. We understand if we can score over 60 points, you know, the percentages of us winning are definitely higher. Um, so we have to take every advantage we can get. And on the defensive side, uh, you forced 34 turnovers last night and Mansfield just 12 out of 39, so almost as many turnovers as field goal attempts. Yeah, absolutely, and, th and that was huge. That, that's definitely huge, and uh, yeah, the, the second chance efforts just gave us, I think it was, what, 26 mm -hmm. uh, more opportunities than Mansfield. I mean, it, it's a tough road for them to try to, to win a game with that, but uh, but yeah, I mean, our hustle and our defense is really starting to pick up, and uh, we're just starting to gel at the right time. Um, now that you're officially in the postseason and you'll play that Saturday first round game, you really could play any of the five teams that are, are remaining in a heady in the standings and you play four of them uh, over the next four games. Yeah, it, for us it's a great situation because it's uh, kind of a little dress rehearsal. Um, try to tweak and figure out which ways we can beat you know, the, the top four is what we got left right now. And uh, yeah, we, we just really don't know which one it's going to be. It's going to go all the way down to the wire. Um, but we're definitely excited about it because either way, even if we somehow didn't steal one or two wins in these next four, um, I find it extremely difficult for whoever we do play to try to beat us for that third time. I really do believe it's very, very difficult. And the way our kids are playing and our mentality, um, you know, we're going to be a force. We're going to be a difference, though our record doesn't show it. But the way we're coming together right now, uh, I think we're going to be a headache for somebody. Um, Saturday at Shippensburg, what do you take from the first game here at Kaler and then take down to, to ship on Saturday? Oh, wow. You know, and ship, Ship's been playing really strong right now. Um, they're, they're making a push, and, and right now I know they're a game back from first, and I, I know they're going to try to push to try to host because the Peace Acts are on the east side this, this time. So that top portion that's fighting for that first place, um, you know, there's a lot to fight for. Um, but at the same time, you know, Ship, they, they got uh, Strybach really hurt us, and the, the words, um, man, our biggest thing is just making sure we keep our composure and handle their pressure and limit our turnovers, and if we rebound like we did uh, last night, you know, we're going to make it a ball game. Um, right now we're actually shooting with confidence, and I believe last night we were actually had a pretty solid shooting percentage, uh, which we haven't been really used to uh, this year. So, um, you know, I don't think Shippensburg is going to definitely take us lately, um, but at the same time I think this is going to be a real, real great opportunity for us to uh, possibly steal one. Um, last night uh, Jess Martin became the ninth player as a sophomore to score 500 career points and um, this year she's leading you obviously in the three major categories as, as a post player in scoring at 11 and a half, rebounding over eight and a half, and the, and the block shots um, right. where she's in the top 20 in Division two. Yeah, I mean she's just playing so solid and, and her game's getting better. Um, you know, she did get in some foul trouble yesterday and only played eight, eight, 18 minutes, mm -hmm. um, but still at the same time if we, if we can get her out there and get her more production, I mean she was three for four. I mean, we understand as we go out on the stretch, I mean, it's got to go through Jess Martin's hands. I mean, she, she's earned the right, um, putting up 500 points already as a sophomore. And um, the reality is, is we got five games, and that's including the, the playoff game. I mean, here's somebody that has the ability to probably, you know, get up to close to 600 after her sophomore year. And, um, and then 